Hi, my name is Megan Corey. I'm an AP Biology teacher, technology integration facilitator, and I'm the host of this YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the five benefits of educational vlogging. Now, you might be wondering, what is a vlog? And well, it's this. It is a video blog. It's actually a way of recording your ideas over video instead of using the written word. Now, as a professional, you're probably thinking, okay, but how am I gonna use that in my classroom? And why would I? Today, we're gonna be talking about five benefits of educational vlogging, and we're gonna be talking about some ways to implement it in your classroom as well. The first benefit that we're gonna be talking about today is it challenges your students to be creative thinkers. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, every activity that we do challenges my students to be creative thinkers. But imagine that these students now have to really think about more than just what they're going to say. They have to think about their lighting, their sound quality. What are they going to wear? Where are they going to film? And you would be surprised about all of the things that students choose to do when they have those choices. Are they going to insert animations like this one? Are they going to have pop-ups in their videos? Are they going to start to tag things that you can find on social media? You'd be really impressed with the creativity of your students if you let them have a little bit of leeway when they're creating their vlog. The second benefit to having educational vlogging in your classroom is that students have to be prepared. You can't just hop on camera and spout off words and hope that anything good comes out. You have to have a certain amount of preparedness so that you can really communicate your professional demeanor. For example, if you're a science teacher and you are employing educational vlogging in your classroom as an alternative form of lab reporting, your students can't just hop in with a cell phone camera and record every single piece of the lab and hope that there's some footage in there that's going to get them a really good take. They have to plan. They have to know that procedure backwards and forwards. They have to think about how they're gonna communicate their results effectively, what visuals are gonna be essential to the reporting process. And it's a really incredible thing to see your students put in such a level of preparation. And that's, the, that's actually the benefit there, is that they get to go back and see that experiment over and over and over again. I can't think of a better way to really communicate the bigger concepts within a lab or within a project without your students having to do it through a vlog. The third benefit to using educational vlogging in your classroom is that there's no age limit. Now I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna get kindergartners to vlog? With the evolution of things like Flipgrid and Seesaw, having video and picture formats to be able to communicate things with their peers, there is no age limit to doing this. You can do it for kindergartners all the way through graduate and postgraduate students. The fourth benefit to educational vlogging is that it can be done anywhere. You can film an educational vlog in your kitchen, you can film an educational vlog on the beach. You can film an educational vlog in the city. And you can be transported anywhere in order to do this. It's really nice when you can kind of sit down with your students in a place that's comfortable for them where they can get some quiet time in order to be able to communicate their thoughts. The fifth benefit and the final one we're going to talk about today of educational vlogging is the fact that it creates an immense amount of digital citizenship for your students. It is incredibly profound to see some of our students realize that the words that they use are out there forever. But that doesn't always happen. Kids post on social media, they're using Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat, and they're throwing their words out there and there is no consequences for them that they can see. And they don't understand what we tell them every day of your words are permanent, but it's a very different thing for them to see their face out there and their work out there and have that be a permanent fixture on the internet. So it requires another level of thought, another layer, of um, 
professionalism to be applied to their product so that they can really hold on to that and think about what it's going to be like moving forward in their professional career uh, and how to and how to conduct themselves online with appropriate netiquette now that they're doing educational vlogging. Well, that's all we have for you today. Those are five benefits to educational vlogging in the classroom. I really hope that you give this a try.